took him just a week to make the moon and stars, the sun and the earth and Jupiter and Mars. How on me impatient he must be, he's still working on me. Where he ought to be, a sign upon my heart, don't judge me yet, there's an unfinished part. How I'm being patient just according to his plan, fashioned by the master's loving hand. He's still working on me to make me what I ought to be. Took him just a week to make the moon and stars, sun and the earth and Jupiter and Mars. Now I'm being patient he must be. He's still working on me. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face is surely show. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stop your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stop your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face is surely show. If you're happy and you know it, stop your feet. If you're happy and you know it, say amen. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, say amen. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show. If you're happy and you know it, do amen. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Good to be in the Lord's house. I do appreciate the Lord for all that He's done for me. What He's going to do. Amen. All right, I was praying last night and asking the Lord for His guidance. Amen. He Led me right back to the book of Ephesians, chapter 6. <clears throat> I do want to be obedient to the will of God, amen? Like we've said many times already, and Jimmy said it and others, we're in a fight. The devil's trying everything he can to get us off course. <coughs> He's wanting to, he's not so much trying to kill us physically as he is spiritually. But we're still going to have to fight. Amen. Amen. Paul, Paul wrote and he said to fight the good fight of faith. Amen. To lay hold on eternal life. <clears throat> and I want to lay hold on that eternal life. That's where my joy and my strength is. It's not in this old world. There's nothing in this world worth holding on to. As much as we love our families and, and the possessions that we have, they're not, they're not worth holding on to. Preacher Yeri, Preacher Bradley Yeri used to say this, uh, say it like this. He said, take the whole world, just give me Jesus. You can take all the riches of this world. You can take the gold, the silver, the, all the precious jewels. You can take all that. I just want the Lord. And... Uh, I believe we're in a time where the enemy is trying to deceive the church of God. Amen. I'm not talking about a denomination this morning. I'm talking about God's elect. He's trying to get us off course. I can't help, but every time I read uh, here in, in Ephesians, I can't help but think about the garden when the devil came in in the form of a serpent and how he began to deceive and began to uh, beguile Eve and, and began to lie to her. And, uh, you know, she didn't, she didn't die a physical death, but they died spiritually. Amen. And that's what the enemy's wanting this morning. He's wanting, uh, he's wanting our souls what he's wanting. He's wanting us to come to a place of, uh, of being relaxed. Um, you know, Jesus, he, he wrote there and he told them, he said, pray that your, fly, 
uh, be not in the winter. Amen. And some didn't understand what he was saying. He wasn't talking about the actual season of winter itself. He was talking about a time when you grown cold on the Lord. A time, amen, when you, you wasn't on, uh, you wasn't being fruitful and, and springing forth good fruit. And he, he uh, also spoke and he said, pray that you fly out not be on the Sabbath day. Most Amen. On the Sabbath day, take a day of rest. Amen. The Lord rested on the seventh day. And uh, this morning, we need to be on guard because the enemy is coming. His, he, he's, he's using every tactic that he can to try to deceive us. And, and if, it, if it would be so that he could, he would kill us. Amen. He would. He would. If he could do it, amen, he would. He tried to kill the Lord himself. You heard what... Uh, Jimmy preached to us last night, amen. Old Stephen, it, the, the devil got mad, buddy. The devil got mad. The Bible said, said Stephen was full of faith and the Holy Ghost. And uh, the devil was mad because a, he was a, 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 a vital tool that the Lord was using, if I could say it that way. Amen. Go beyond the call. Amen. Now, what a message he preached last night. But the devil's mad when we go to spread <clears throat> the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. The devil tries everything that he can, but we must be equipped with the armor that we need. Amen. The armor of God. Amen. And if we're going to fight the devil, the only way that we're going to win is through the word of God. Amen. Amen. You can't use carnal tools. You can't use physical tools. Amen. If you could, I'd have done beat him up with a ball bat. Amen. But you can't do it that way. To defeat the devil, you got to use the Word of God. Amen. Jesus, the Bible said God was found manifest in the flesh through His Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. And when the, <clears throat> when the tempter came, after Jesus had fasted 40 days and 40 nights in the wilderness, the Bible said he was afterward, he was, he, uh, afterward hungered, he was vulnerable, he was weak in the flesh. But what did Jesus use? He used the Word of God. we got to have the Word in our life. And if we don't have the Word in our life, we're not effective. We're not effective. And if we don't have the Word in our life and we're not living by the Word, you're probably not in a battle because the devil, like Jimmy said last night, the devil ain't after you if you ain't finding yourself in the Word of God. Amen. But Paul began to write here as he closed his letter to the book, uh, to the church at Ephesus in the book of Ephesians. Amen. And I want to start at verse 10 again. He said, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Whose might? The Lord. Amen. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Against the wiles of the devil. The wiles is the cunningness, the craftiness. How he is so tricky. He, amen. Just, just again, going back to the garden, you'll, I, I, can, I could just hear that. Listen, I can just hear that old sly voice. You'll not surely die, but you'll be God's. Huh? You'll be able to distinguish between good and evil. He came and he tricked Eve. Amen. Verse 12, he said, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. It's not a fleshly battle, Paul said. Verse 13, he said, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand. Can we agree today that we're living in an evil time? Amen. Can, can we all say amen to that? We're living in an evil time. Amen. Verse 14. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, and above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is what? The Word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints." Paul was letting them know you got to have on the whole armor of God. Amen. We want to look this morning. Amen. We want to focus on verse 15 if we can. And having your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. 
Amen. The, the, the word shod is just simply the past tense of shoe, like you would put a shoe on. Like, like, like uh, uh, for instance, uh, a horse, uh, they put horseshoes on a horse. And they'll say that horse has done been shod. It's done been shoed. It's done been equipped with what it needs. Amen. Paul was letting them know. He, he said, you've got to have this on. What, uh, why? Why is it important to have your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace? You got to have on this morning. Their feet need to be shod, amen, with the preparation of the gospel of peace, amen, that we may be able to be able to stand. What did he say just a few verses before? And having done all to stand, amen, he started the very next verse. Amen. Verse 14, to stand therefore, we've got to be able to fight the enemy. In biblical and ancient times, the terrain at times was rough and it was rocky. Amen. At, at times, uh, amen, it, 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 the, the, your foot wouldn't get, a good, wouldn't get a good hold. I don't know about you, but amen, uh, uh, growing up, I did go barefoot a few times, but amen, I had tender feet, I guess is what you'd call it. I wanted shoes on. These kids nowadays, Jenna, Jenna, my niece back there, buddy, she can go across gravels just like she's got on the thickest sole pair of shoes that you ever seen. She pays that no attention. But in, 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 in times of, of battle here, in, in biblical and ancient times, uh, there was instances that the enemy, a man would come and he would set ambushments. He would, he would put out barbs or spikes or he would put out sharp rocks to try to, to slow a man, uh, uh, the opponent down. He would, he would try everything that he could to try to trip the enemy up. Amen. Have you ever had a stone bruise? Huh? You ever had a stone bruise? Your foot just so sore? You ever stuck a nail in your foot? Huh? It hurts, don't it? Come on. If you ain't had that tetanus shot, buddy, that foot will swell up and you can't hardly, you can just look at it and that thing will start, hey amen, feel like your heart's down in your foot just to beat. Huh? But you see, you can't, you can't hold, listen, who in here can hold their, uh, hold one foot up with their hand and walk to their car this morning? Huh? It would be awful hard now, wouldn't it? It is very important that we are standing on two feet. Amen. To be able to properly fight the devil the way that we need to, our feet need to be shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Because just like, just like, amen, in these times of, of, of biblical times, in ancient times, amen, when this, when this shrapnel, if you will, was laid out as a snare, as a trap, the enemy tries his very best to snare us if he can. He tries every tactic that he can in the spiritual to get us to fall. And I don't know about you before, uh, don't know about you, but before I have, fa- I have fallen. I have fell flat on my face before. Amen. I have, I have, amen, hit the ground. Not only in the natural, but in the spirit. I have come to a place where the enemy has set a snare and it's tripped me up. Amen. But you know what? I've got to get back up. Hey man, I've got to dust myself off. Hey Come on, somebody. I think about a child and when it when it's <clears throat> excuse me, when it's learning to walk. Bless him, Lord. Hey man, that, that baby, I, I think about my nephew right now. He's he's not, well, he's eleven months old. He'll be twelve months old uh, next month. But I think about him. Uh, he's uh, he's learning to uh, to walk. He you put him. What's them things you put him in? Walkers. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's simple, ain't it? Huh? He's in that walker and he's learning how to use them legs. But when he gets out of that walker and he starts learning to take steps, when he falls, you're not going to, hey man, call him stupid or anything like that. Think about that little child. When he falls and he, and he hits his head or he, he bumps his chin or whatever it is, hey man, you're going to run to that child. Hey man, and you're, hey man, you're going to kiss its boo-boo. Hey man. Think about it this way. In the spirit, when we fall, the Lord's not calling us stupid. Huh? He's running to us. He wants to help us. Amen. There's times that her feet get unstable. Yeah. Amen. I think about mom. She's been through a lot this year and, and different things, and she's she's get, gaining strength back, and and uh, she's she's having to use a walker, and and uh, most of you know that she's broke her uh, uh, her right leg, and she's had surgery to help repair that, and 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 some other things going on in her ankle that they did surgery on, but uh, I, I've I've noticed improvement. Therapy's been coming in. They've been working with her, been strengthening her, amen, and, and, and she's not so dependent on us anymore. She's starting to use the walker, and she's starting to get around, 
Amen. It's just like that in the spiritual. There's times that we have setbacks. There's times, uh, amen, that we, that, that, that we need help. Listen, we need one another this morning whether we'll realize it or not. We need one another. I think about Jimmy uh, preaching the other night. He was talking about Moses. Amen. When he, when he was up there, amen, on the mountain and he had his hands lifted up. And Israel was prevailing. Amen. He, Israel was winning the battle. But Moses, the fleshly side of Moses was getting tired. And as he stood there, amen, hold your hands up in the air for a while. And see, see how long before it starts taking you that your hands start, hey man, your arms start giving out and your hands start coming down. And old Moses was tired and, and Aaron and Hur, they, they come unto Moses and there he was. Hey Amen. And they scooted a rock up under him. Hey Amen. And they, they, they set Moses down upon the rock. And Aaron got on one side and Hur got on the other. Hey Amen. And they held up the hands of Moses. Amen. And God allowed Israel to prevail. We need one another. Come on, somebody. Jimmy, being the pastor, amen, of this church, he needs us. Amen. As well as we need him. We need a shepherd to watch over us and to keep us. Amen. But not only do we need a shepherd, but we need to support the shepherd. Amen. And we need to uphold him in prayer. And we, we need to lift him up because I'm telling you, as a minister of the gospel, amen, I'm not saying that we have more trials or, 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 or that we're the lone ranger, but if the enemy can take out the one that is given the food to the flock, he's, took, he's taken, overtaken the whole herd. Huh? We need to have our feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, the Bible said. Because the enemy is going to set snares. He's going to, he's going to set ambushments. <clears throat> Come on. I remember, I remember, hey man, Papa used to try to set traps. He loved good farm eggs and, 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 uh, and uh, possums and coons and, and different things. Hey man, weasels, they'd, they'd want to come in and, and, and into the hen house and, and Papa would try his best to set a snare. Hey man, to, to catch that predator. Huh? Come on somebody, you got to bait that trap in. You can't, just set a, you can't just set a live trap out and expect an animal to run in there. You got to put something in there that it likes. Huh? You gotta you gotta put some something in there to entice it. Come on, you don't just set a rat trap, now do you? Huh? A mouse trap? Come on, you don't just you don't just set that thing and hope that the mouse runs across it. Huh? You gotta put a little bait on there, put a little cheese. I, I tell you, peanut butter works pretty good. Huh? You gotta put something on there, buddy, and all of a sudden when that trigger is hit, my, hey man, you know what happens. You see, that's what the enemy's wanting to do. He's wanting to bait us in. Come on, somebody. Huh? Yeah, you ever drove through the flats here? There's them cows, buddy. They got all the green grass that they want to, but there's one. Huh? She's got her head stuck through that fence and she's stretching out there as far as she can. Huh? She's stretching out there to try to, to try to get something that she can't. She's trying to press the limit. You see, the enemy's trying our very best, trying his very best to get us to press as far as we want to. I want to tell you this. I heard this one time. It said, listen, the grass ain't always as green as it, should, as it seems to be on the other side of the fence. You better know what's causing that grass to be green. Because you, you could take a step from safety and you could take a step and the next thing you know, you're in a cesspool. Amen, the cesspool of the world and it's got you into a snare. Amen, the Bible, amen, the Bible talks about having hind's feet. Amen, to have feet of, of surety. Amen, that deer, that, that hind that, that's got those feet, man. Amen, it, it knows where it's going to step. It knows, amen, that it's got to step on something solid. And I don't know if you've ever, ever noticed, but uh, go, and, and deer and different things, uh, gazelles, different things. Amen. They they can run up a, a rock cliff like it's nothing. Amen. Their their feet is 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 is, is uh, 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 made for that terrain. Come on, amen. The predators after them, but but that lion can't get up that rock cliff. Amen. Like that gazelle can, huh? That wolf, amen, can't get up that rock cliff like that deer can. Huh? See, when you got your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, God will take you places where the enemy cannot go. Huh? But you've got, you've got to have the gospel. Eh? How do we get our feet shod with the preparation of gospel? Amen. It's by reading and studying. Amen. And seeking God's will for our lives. 
Amen. The enemy wants to set a snare. He wants to tear you down. Amen. Huh? He wants to break you. He wants to entangle you. Come on, somebody. Huh? He wants to get you into a snare. Amen. So he can come and he can pulverize you. And he can begin to browbeat you. And amen, to begin to tear you down. Amen. I'm glad. Come on, I'm glad that I can follow the shepherd. Amen, the shepherd being the Lord. Amen, <coughs> amen. And, and that old song says, where he follow, where he leadeth, I will follow. Huh? I want to go the way that the Lord goes. Come on, somebody. Amen, it may not always be smooth. There may be some briars, may be some thickets. Come on, you ever got in a briar patch? <laughs> Come on. Yeah, you ever got in them old sticker weeds? Lord, you come out of there and you're covered with them. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I can look at them and go home with six or eight on me. Huh? Come on. Them old sticker weeds, buddy, they, they just try to, try to attach to you the best that they can. Huh? Church, the enemy is trying his very best to latch a hold of you. Come on. He's trying his very best to pull you down and to weight you down. Amen. He's trying his very best to bring you into a snare. Right. But if we've got our feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, we are equipped, hey man, to be able to fight the devil. Amen. Come on. All this armor, every piece of this armor goes right back to the word of God. Amen. What did Jesus himself use on the devil? The word of God. Amen. Come on. You've got church folk. They come. They hear the preaching. They hear the singing. They participate in the service. Amen. Then they go home. And they don't ever crack open their Bible. They don't ever fall down and pray. Huh? Until the next service. And then they open their Bible. And then they pray. They pray when we're congregated. Huh? I'm telling you. It is needful. It is needful daily to look into the Word of God, Amen. to read and to study that Word of God, Amen. to be equipped, to have your quiver full of arrows. Amen. That you may be able to fight the devil. Huh? I, listen, I, I'm not trying to be pitiful or nothing this morning. Amen. I've been in a battle with the enemy about eight months. Amen. About eight months. And it's been severe at times. But I am an overcomer with God's help. I am victorious. I am. Amen. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. And I'm not trying to act like I'm the Lone Ranger. And no doubt you might have been in a battle 18 months. Amen. But I'm sharing with you what I've been through because I can tell you, amen, I may not know what you're going through. Amen. But there's one thing about it. I've got to hold on to the gospel plow. Come on, somebody. I've got to take hold of this plow, and I don't need to look back, but I need to keep my eyes focused upon the Lord. I was talk, talking to Steve the other, the other day on the phone, Steve Mullins, and, and we was talking about gardening. Actually, uh, he had brought up my uncle. He said, boy, that, that man sure does like to garden. I said, yeah, he takes that after Papa." I said, Papa and Mama, they, they love to raise a garden. I said, I'm telling you what, Papa could lay off the straightest row. Amen. And I told him how that, I've said this before, Papa always said, son, you got to focus on something on the other end and you don't, ha you don't get your focus off of that. Amen. And that roll will be straight. He didn't, Papa didn't use a, 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 a string and sticks. Amen. He, he focused on something. Amen. And, and there was times Papa would be laying off those rolls. Uh, amen. And those old tines of the tiller, it hit a rock and it bounced and it get it off course. But you know what Papa did? Amen. He backed that tiller up a little bit and he'd move that obstacle out of the way and then he'd focus right back on to what he was looking at. And here we go again. Amen. It's that same way with our walk with the Lord. We've got to focus on the Lord and keep our eyes upon him and looking unto Jesus the author and the finisher of our faith amen and we can walk that straight and that narrow way amen we can walk that play we can walk that highway called holiness and I know that's not a popular word in the day that we're living in amen but it's still needful in this hour amen and there's going to be bumps along the way there's going to be times that amen something will hit something and it'll knock us off course it might make us fall down amen my 
Uncle Galvin had a, amen, he had a run in with the tiller one time. His leg got wrapped around the tines and he, he was laid up for quite some time. Amen. There's going to be times the enemy comes in and he'll, he'll try his very best to give you a blow to try to bring you down. Amen. But once your eyes is focused on the prize, you can keep marching. You can keep going. Amen. No doubt we may, amen, we may come upon some unstable ground. We may come upon some shrapnel. We may come upon, amen, some stones that the enemy, some sharp stones that the enemy's tried to lay in front of us. Amen. To try to bring us down. But let's keep our eyes focused on the one. Amen. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Amen. We got to keep focused on him. I can't be distracted of what's going on out here in the world. Listen, I, I somebody said the other day, we was talking, amen, they said, thank God, Donald Trump's running for president again. I said, wait a minute. I said, get your eyes off the things of this world and get your eyes back on the Lord. Amen. Listen, we need to keep our eyes focused on the Lord. I've come to realize I don't care if they're Democrat and I don't care if they're Republican. They all tell lies to you. Amen. But I'm going to look to the one that will not lie. I'm going to look to the one, amen, that said, I'll never leave you. I'll go with you all the way, even to the end of the world. I'll be a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. Follow me. I'll lead you safely home. I want to be, amen, a friend of God. Amen. I want you to know something today, church. When we get our eyes focused on the Lord, amen, we will not slide. Amen. When the enemy comes, amen, the wise man built his house upon the rock. And when the winds and the waves, amen, when the storm came, the house stood firm. I don't know about you. Amen. But I know my eyes is on the Lord. Everything's going to be all right. Oh, everything will be all right. Amen. Do what they may. Come against us. Amen. Scandalize us. Run us down. Talk about us. Forsake us. Amen. I don't know about you, but I'll keep my eyes on the Lord because I know that I'm, I'm looking to the one that will not fail me. Amen. Got to have our feet shod with the preparation of the gospel. Come on. Amen. In the Bible, they couldn't run down to Johnny's shoes and pick them up a brand new pair of car hearts. Huh? They couldn't go down to the local headman co-op and get them a pair of them red wing shoes. Hey Amen. Most times in the biblical in the biblical era here, it was just simply sandals that they had. Amen. Huh? But that soldier, when he would put those sandals on, these, these, these were a special type of sandal. They had an extra thick sole upon them. Hey Amen. They had extra straps to help tie them on. Yeah. Hey Amen. In some instances, hey Amen, they would forge metal to cover their shin. Hey Amen. And to lay out across their foot. Because the enemy would going to come in with a striking blow. Hey Amen. How can you stand and fight? Hey Amen. If, you, if your feet's not solid. Amen. Come on, somebody. Huh? I was watching a Western the other day. I like Westerns. Hey Amen. Maybe you don't, but I do. Hey Amen. The horse, the horse stumbled in a hole, a gopher hole. Hey Amen. It busted its leg. And they said that horse will never be able to recover from that injury. What'd they do? They put that horse down. See, that's what the enemy's wanting to do. He's wanting to bust you up and get you into a place. Amen. And lie to you and tell you you'll never be the same. He'll never be like it once was. Amen. That's what the enemy wants to do. He's full of lies. He's full of deceit. Amen. Amen. The truth ain't in him. <clears throat> Come on. He's wanting, to, he's wanting to crush you. He's wanting to pulverize you. Hey man, he's wanting to bring you down. Hey man, he's wanting to fill you full of those lies. Come on. I think about what Jimmy said about old brother Job. Hey man, Job, he went through all, he lost everything that he had all the way down to his children. Hey man, come on. Here come the sons of God to present themselves before the Lord and there come old booger again. The old devil. Hey man, 
Hallelujah. And he asked a question. Hey man, has thou considered my servant Job that there is none like him? Hey man, and God, and the devil told God, he said, you've put a hedge around him. Hey man, he said, but if you'll let that hedge down, I'll have him curse you to his face. Hey man, there in Job chapter two. Hey man, he said, you can do whatever you want to to the old Job. He said, but don't you kill him. There old Job was, honey. Hey man, he was, he had bulls from head to toe. Hey man, I don't know. Listen, like Jimmy said last night, we ain't trying to be gross, but have you ever had a boil? You know what we're talking about. They're painful. They're irritable. Amen. Sometimes they have to be, you have to see a, a doctor or a surgeon, amen, to get some help, to get some relief. Amen. But Job took that old piece of that pot shear, honey, and he went to scraping those things. Amen. I don't know if you understand. He was in misery. He was in pain. Amen. And Job said, though he slay me, yet will I serve him. Amen. This was a man who had had his feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. He said, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. When the enemy thought, I've got him right where I want him. Amen. I've took everything from him. I've took his cattle. I've took his oxen. I've took his asses. Amen. I've took his sheep. I've took his sons and his daughters. I've took everything from him. And old Job never once charged God foolishly. Now here he is. Amen. He is cursed his body from head to toe and the old devil he's probably life and I've got him where I want him hey amen but Job said I still praise you Lord I still lift up the name that's above all names that's what the enemy is wanting to do he's wanting to get you into a vulnerable place hey amen to try to get you to deny the Lord hey amen but greater is he that is in me than he that is in this world and by the help of God hey amen I'll serve of the Lord all the days of my life. Amen. Living in that time, the enemy wants to try to break us, wants to try to crumble us. Amen. Bring us down. Amen. We need to be able to stand. Amen. It was very important for the soldier, amen, to have the proper foot attire so that he could be able to stand and fight. Amen. You can't fight from a seated position. Come on, somebody. Hey, man, you can't fight. Hey, man, we've got to be able to fight the good fight of faith. We've got to be able to lay hold on eternal life. Hey, man, we, listen. What did he say there in verse 11? He said, put on the whole armor of God that you may be, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, against the tricks, huh? against the deceit, against the craftiness. Amen. He's going to bring out. He's going to bring out all of his arsenal, everything that he can, yeah, bless you, to try to tear you down. Amen. And he'll even use the ones that you love the most. Yeah. Amen. To try to get you to curse God, you, huh? Come on. We need to come to a place where our feet is shod, and not only are they shod, Amen, with the preparation of the gospel, but the gospel of peace. Huh? The gospel of peace. Huh? Listen, as Christians, we must be ready at all times, amen, to be able to face whatever's in front of us. 1 Peter 3, 15. Listen to what he said. He said, but sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Huh? To be ready, what did he say? To be ready always. To be ready always. Amen. Got to have our feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Amen. It's a must in our daily walk. Uh, Isaiah 52 and 7. Listen. Isaiah said, How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publish peace. That bringeth good tidings of good, that publish salvation, that saith unto Zion, Thy God reigneth. Yeah. Huh? Amen. Hey, not always quarreling and fussing. Hey, Amen. Not always trying to gender strife. Hey, Amen. Proverbs wrote, hey, Amen. It's, it's found in the Proverbs. He said, These six things doth the Lord hate, yea, seven are an abomination unto him. Hey, Amen. Hey, one of those things was feet that was swift 
to mischief. Huh? Busybodies always going around trying to gender strife. Hey, I heard this and I heard that. I ain't got time for that. You know what? And I found out. And when you tell people that, they'll quit calling you. Huh? I don't want to hear that garbage. Huh? I don't want to hear that. Amen? I'm not, listen, I'm not, I'm not got time for that foolishness. I want to pray for them. Huh? Listen, would well, you hear about so and so? No. No, I sure didn't. Because I've been trying to work on me. Huh? I've been trying to work on me. I've been trying to get me ready for the coming of the Lord. Yeah, let's pray you one for another. Let's lift up our brothers and sisters in the Lord. Amen. But if we're going to point the finger, let's get the mirror out and point the finger at the one in the mirror. Huh? I ain't got time to find your faults. Amen. Jesus was, excuse me, Jimmy was talking about Jesus last night. Every time, every time he went somewhere, there was a crowd. There was a great swell of people that followed him. Some for the food. Some for the miracles. Some to find fault, find false accusations. They would go back to the Sanhedrin. They'd go back, hey, he's done this. So and so, you know the blind man? Hey, the Lord spit upon the ground. He made a little mud and he put it in his eyes and he received his sight. Huh? The enemy was mad and he tried to stop it, but nothing, nothing can stop the hand of God. Nothing, nothing. The devil cannot stop the hand of God. Amen. But they sought after the Lord. Some was looking for a miracle. Others were looking for fault. Huh? They tried their very best to, to break him down. Amen. They wanted to gender strife, wanted to tell lies. Wanted to be deceitful. Amen. Stir up rumors. I remember, I remember in grade school, the teacher set us in a circle in the classroom. And she started with one student and, 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 and started with a little simple saying, the dog has two spots on his back. And by the time it went all the way around the room, it was not what the teacher had originally said. Huh? Tail bearers. Amen. And it's sad to say, but a lot of church folk is tail bearers. Amen. And I'm not speaking evil of nobody in here this morning and not accusing nobody. No. Amen. But when we got our feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, amen, we ain't caught up in that mess. Yes, amen. But we're ready. We're ready. What did I, what did I read to you a minute ago? 1 Peter 3, 15, But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Huh? Amen. You're ready. Yeah. You're ready. You're ready to, ready to stand. Hey, the Lord is my salvation and my strength. Right. Huh? Right. The question was asked one time. If you was arrested for being a, a Christian, would there be enough evidence to prove that you truly are a Christian? Amen. Huh? Think about it, friend. Amen. We need to be peaceful. Matthew 5 and 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Huh? Jimmy been preaching on the temple of truth here. Amen. One of those steps, getting up into the temple of truth, is being a peacemaker. Huh? Come on, I ain't talking about the pistol neither. Huh? There's a pistol called a peacemaker. Amen. But we as children of God need to be peacemakers. Huh? Romans 12, 18, if it be possible as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Huh? Ain't fussing and quarreling with the neighbors all the time. Come on. Ain't finding fault with them. I want you to look. They mowed a stripe down on my side of the line. Thank God that's one less stripe you've got to mow. Huh? Hey, Amen. I'm telling you, church, it's time to be peaceful. 1 Corinthians, 4, 1 Corinthians 14 and 33. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. Amen. Huh? So many scriptures on, the, on about being peacemakers. Isaiah 26 and 3. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, 
because he trusteth in thee. I don't know how to be peaceful, preacher. Huh? Keep your mind on the Lord. Huh? Come on. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, living, amen, in the times that we're living in, amen, the devil's going to try everything he can. Yeah. Come on. He's going to try everything he can. Amen. I think about the illustration that Jimmy gave last night. Amen. That lady, that was just giving him a hard time. Church, if we ain't very careful, if we don't keep our body and bring it under subjection, and listen, I've been one too, the lash out. Yeah. Huh? Right. Maybe you ain't. God bless you if you ain't. Right. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> I remember one time I was down there at the tire store, Hank, and, and uh, <laughs> I was getting tires on the gravel truck I was driving and went in there to do the paperwork. and I forget the little man's name, but Boy, he's getting Hank down the road because he's watching Fox News. <laughs> Hank said, well, this is, this is my place of business. He said, if we was at your house, we'd watch what you wanted to watch. He said, but since we're here, he said, you're going to have to watch what I got the TV on. Yeah. Boy, these people, they'll, they'll find fault with you over anything. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I thought, well, how good that was. And I'm not trying to make Hank's head swell. But you know what? Amen. That could have went one or two ways, and I thought it went peacefully. How quick it is. And I'm telling you, if you deal with the public any, I'm not saying you got to work with them. They're just being out in it. If you ain't very careful, you let a sale be. Hey, man, listen. Fridays are coming, and it's called Black Friday. Huh? I've been one time with my wife, and I told her, I said, I will never, I will never come again. Lord, they're banging buggies into one another, fighting over stuff. I said, I'd rather pay full prices come down here in this mess. I would. I would rather pay full price as to come down here and see this ruckus. Hey Amen. I, I, there's enough fighting with the devil, hey amen, to worry, to go out here and try to pick a fight with somebody else. Preacher, I just can't live peaceful. Hey amen. Why? Why can't you live peaceful? That will keep the imperfect peace, Isaiah said, whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusteth in thee. Huh? It's come to the place where we got our mind on the Lord and we can live peaceful with anybody. Huh? We surely can. Blessed are the peacemakers. They shall be called the children of God. Huh? Church, I tried my best this morning. We need to have our feet shod with the preparation of the gospel Amen. of peace. Amen. Because the enemy's going to put snares out. Amen. Amen. He will. He'll try his very best to ambush you. Come on. I ain't trying to be comical this morning. I grew up watching Wiley. Uh, the coyote and the roadrunner. Huh? That old, that old coyote buddy, he set snares and tricks and all kinds of different things. Hey Amen. That old roadrunner buddy, he was smart. He was smart. Church, we need to come to a place where we can outwise the enemy. Hey Amen. Oh, you want to know where the battlefield is? Right here. Amen. In the mind. It's where the battlefield is. Amen. And if the devil comes in, amen, and he tries to steal your joy and your peace, honey, you're, you're fussing at the cat. It's just sitting there looking at you. Huh? You're fussing at the dog. Amen. The dog just wants a little bit of food. And he's just a, amen, you're just, you're just ready to tell you, man, take that dog and just throw it out. Just, just get out of here, you old mutt. Huh? Because the devil's robbed you. If we ain't very careful, amen, the devil will come in and he'll rob us, amen, of our armor. He'll find us in a place, a man of ease, and he'll come in. Amen. I think about David. Many times he could have killed Saul. Amen. Many times he could have, he could have overtook Saul. Saul, man, at one time Saul and David was, amen, they, they, they got along so good. Huh? Amen. But old Saul got jealous. Amen. Saul's killed his thousands, and David has killed his tens of thousands. And Saul began to get wroth in his heart. Amen. He, he got angry and he sought out to kill David. And many times God granted David, amen, the opportunity to kill Saul. But David found, amen, to leave a little trinket behind. I was here, but I didn't take your life. Come on. Church, we're living in a time where the enemy wants to do anything that he can to try to break us, amen, and tear us down. But if God be for us, who? can be against us. We need the Lord. In the day and the hour that we're living in, we need the Lord more than ever. 
we surely do. Don't look to man. Don't look to Congress. Don't look to the House. Don't look to the President. Look to Jesus. Look to Jesus. He's the only one. To see change in our land, it's going to take God's people repenting. He didn't say the sinners. He said, if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Now this was the Lord. He said, if my people will do these things, he said, then I'll hear from heaven. I'll forgive their sins and I'll heal their land. Amen. God bless you this morning. I've tried my best. Hope it's been a blessing to you. I love you and the Lord. By the help of God, would never do nothing or say nothing to try to tear you down. Church, I want to be a stepping stone, not a stumbling block. I want to encourage you in Christ Jesus. We've got a, hey amen, a, a trip coming up, and we better be ready. Better make the preparations that are needed, yes. amen, yes. to get on this one-way flight to glory land. All aboard, the master calls amen. from the runway. Huh? I'm leaving here soon. How about you, neighbor? I'm leaving here soon. He may, may be sooner than you think. I might go by the route of the grave, but I want to be ready. I want to be ready. Amen. God bless you. Come on, Jimmy. Amen. Say what's on your heart. We love you in the Lord today, church. Praise God. Jonathan done a wonderful job this morning teaching that good word. I'm glad today that you can know the truth. And it'll set you free from the bondage of sin. Praise the Lord. I was sitting there thinking as Jonathan was teaching so wonderful. One of the issues that was m most important in people's minds this past election was the right to have an abortion. Murder. That drove them to the polls to vote for somebody that would protect their right to kill a child. And I thought, Lord, how far this nation has drifted away from you. Let me tell you something today. Hey, Amen. I'm not trying to be the carrier of gloom and doom, but this nation is ripe for the judgment of God. Amen. And I believe in my heart you can have your own opinion that God has drew back his hand yep. from this nation. And there's going to be some dark days ahead. Amen. God sends a warning. And if people don't heed that warning, then he sends judgment. Amen. And let me tell you one thing. People, they think they know what trouble is. No, they don't. When God withdraws his hand from people, that protection, the enemy will move right in. And all that he comes for is to kill to steal and to destroy. Come on, Jimmy. If people ever, ministers ever got in the pulpit and preached the word the way it is, they better be a crying loud and spare not. For the judgment of God is coming. Amen. It's coming. This nation ain't seen nothing yet. They ain't seen nothing yet. The southern border of this nation is wide open right now for anybody that wants to cross over into this country. And I'm sure that everybody that's coming across ain't coming across for good intentions. No, not, you got a lot of evil people that's coming right across that border and infiltrating the population of this country. And I look for just any moment, destruction to hit. Amen. 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 People better get sincere right. about serving God because there's trouble coming. Yes, sir. Amen. There's trouble coming. Hallelujah. People can sit comfortably. Right in the house of God. Yes. Amen. With their eyes blinded to what's going on around Amen. them. That's right. People better wake up. Amen. Because let me tell you one thing. The only thing that is going to save people from sure destruction is to turn back to God. Amen. To turn back to the word of God. Amen. So we better be prepared. Amen. We better be prayed up and ready to stand because let me tell you, we're in the valley of decision right now. Amen. We are in a time we're going to have to make up our mind whose side we're on. Yes, sir. Come on. Amen. I'm on the Lord's yes. side. Yes. I heard somebody the other day that was talking. They said uh, that uh, the Lord ain't on my side. I'm on his side. There you go. Amen. Amen. 
But I'm telling you this morning, there is trouble coming. Yes, sir. There is trouble coming to this once great nation. I love America, Amen. and I thank God for the freedoms that we have enjoyed here. But let me tell you one thing. I see dark clouds, yes, amen, a gathering. Yes, There's a storm coming, and we better be spiritually prepared. Today, if we've seen dark clouds a gathering, and they said there's a tornado coming this way. I guarantee you we'd be trying to find somewhere of safety. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. And I tell you, the dark clouds are gathering. Come on, Jimmy. There's trouble on the horizon. Bless him, Lord. And you know what? I'm going to tell you something. The state of the church in this hour, most people are sitting slumbering and sleeping. Right, right in the house of God. Amen. 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 Preachers that will preach the truth, and it's not everybody, and I'm not being mean this morning. But there's preachers that are too intimidated to stand up behind the pulpit and warn their people, prepare Amen. yourself. Amen. Amen. Prepare yourself. I'm glad that we come to a place where that the gospel is declared Amen. in its wholeness. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. I felt like saying that this morning. All right, Jimmy. There's trouble coming. The Lord, brother. There's trouble coming. Be ready. Jonathan, the Lord has called us to be watchmen on the wall. That's right. I'm not bragging and saying anything that I'm no. some great one or I'm yes, immune to failure, no. that I've made mistakes. I'll, I'll be the first to admit I've done things I'm ashamed of. Yes, sir. Me too, brother. Amen. But I ask the Lord to forgive me. And you know what? He forgave me. Amen. 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 Praise God. But I am ever cautious. Lord, where am I standing with you right now? Amen. If I, if you should call my name today and say, right. your time on earth is finished, right. am I ready to meet the Lord Come with on, a clear man. record? Come on. With clean hands and a pure heart. Come on, church. Amen. Amen. Or would I have to run back to somebody oh, and say, forgive me for the Jesus. way I've treated you. Jesus. Forgive me for what I said oh, to God. you. Well, Come on, church. Back. Amen. Let me tell you one thing. Because that I one time made a trip to the altar and asked the Lord in my life. Amen. That don't guarantee I'm going to heaven. No, sir. It's how I'm living right now Amen. that matters to God. It's not what I used to do. No. It's not how good I used to live. Right now. It's what I'm doing right now Amen. that matters to God. Amen. And let me tell you something. And I'm, gonna t I'm talking about myself. If I stand before Him with one mark or blemish upon me, he'll reject me. Amen. Amen. It don't matter how many messages I preached, how many times I went to church, how many times I got that Bible down and looked in it and walked away from it. Let me tell you something about a mirror. You can take a mirror and look at yourself and walk away and I say, describe yourself to me. And you'll get some detail wrong. Amen, that's right. But you have to go back and look in that mirror right. again. I want to keep that word before me. And, and, and I'm speaking in a spiritual yes, sense sir. this morning. Yes, I want to keep that mirror before me that I can see what manner of man Hallelujah. I am. Amen. And I say, Lord, I've got a lot of moving up room. I got a, I've got a lot of praying I need Come to on. do. Come and on. humble myself. Yes. Bringing myself to that altar and falling upon that yes, altar sir. and and praying for the mercies of God. Yes. I'm going to tell you something. I, I'm sounding a trumpet this Amen. morning. There's trouble coming. Yes. There's trouble coming Thank to this God. nation. Thank you, Jesus. And we better be ready. Thank you for the Who shall be able to stand? Amen. I'll tell you those that will be standing. Those that are rooted and grounded yes, in the truth of God's Word. Blood, that are uh, prayed up. That are close to the Lord. That's got their mind made up. Because let me tell you something today. This nation has drifted away from God. Amen. And it's getting worse every day. Amen. 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 Praise God. I don't mean, mean to be the barrier of gloom and doom this morning. But the Lord, Jimmy. when I see something coming, That's you right. better believe I'll tell somebody. Amen. 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 And I love you and I want to see you make it. Amen. I love you. I want to make it. Amen. And I want to see you make it. Amen. We need to be praying for our families. Because yes. this is about over with. Yes. This is about done, church. Amen. The Lord's coming. And I want to be ready. He could come before we leave this building today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Let me tell you one thing. You better, if you ever, amen, if you ever make sure of anything, 
you better make sure you're ready to meet the Lord. And if you've got anything amiss in your life, you better find you a place somewhere and get down humble before God and pray for His mercy to be extended upon your life. Because let me tell you something. I ain't going to be able to stand there that day and say, Lord, you remember when I did this and when I did that and how many times I went to church. I'm a firm believer in being in the house of God every every opportunity you get. Amen. Amen. But it even goes beyond that. It's how we live our life every day. Amen. All right. God bless you. Any, any words this morning before we dismiss? We do want to say we appreciate your presence today Amen. in the house of the Lord. Amen. There's only one place I know that I would rather be, and that's in heaven itself, within the presence of God there. But we're on our way, church. We're nearer today than we've ever been. To our final destination. Amen. I've been on a many a journey. And I tell you what, one of the best feelings is when I could turn and head back toward home. Amen. Amen. I just it just felt like a cloud lifted from off my head when I knowed I was going back home. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, I'm going home today. Amen. Let me tell you, I consider myself a pilgrim and a stranger yes, in this world. This is not my permanent home. I'm just passing through. Praise the Lord. I want my eyes on the Lord. Church, pray for the children. I tell you one thing, Jonathan, I don't, and I don't, want, I don't want to take nothing away from Lord, what brother. Jonathan has said this morning, but we better be praying for our children. Yes, sir. I have never seen a time that the children, the innocence yep. of the child is, is under such an attack. Amen. Satan is trying to, amen, to, to uh, tarnish them innocent minds. Yes, sir. Before they ever even have a chance to live a life as a child and, and, and enjoy a few years of innocence Amen. And, and, and to be worry free. Yep. And the devil has moved right into the schoolhouse. Yes, sir. And I'm not talking about high school, no, I'm talking no, about yes, kindergarten. Amen. Yep. Amen. I'm talking about uh, the devil. Now he said, I'm going to the kindergarten class. Amen. And I'm on to, I'm on to uh, uh, plant those seeds in them little innocent minds. God help us today. And what's the church doing? What's the church doing today? What is the state of the church in this hour we live within? They're worried about everything except what they ought to be concerned about for the most part. And I'm speaking in general terms today. Amen. God help us. But if it's ever time to pray, we better be praying. Amen. If there's ever time to get our eyes opened up, we better be praying, God, let the scale fall off my eyes and touch my heart that I'll get down and I just won't just pray a fleet and prayer and get up and go on my way to do what I want to do. But I'll get down and pour my heart and soul out to God Amen. and say, Lord, if it takes breaking me down again to mold me into what you want me to be, God, let yes. it be so. Let yes. it be so. Amen. Sometimes the Lord has to take a man off his, off the high horse yes, sir. and get him back down on, uh, on bended knees. Yes, and I'm sir. talking about the knees of your heart, Amen. your spirit. Humbling. Amen. Humbling yourself before God. Amen. Lord, help me this morning. Help me this morning. Amen. It's not a time for banqueting. It's a time of solemnness. It's a time of soberness. Amen. Of sobriety before God. Praying and crying, Lord God, help me, Lord to be a light to somebody, Amen. to stand for your word, yes, Lord, sir. to not just go along with the status quo, what this world, amen, that they exalt to be important to them. And I thought, Lord, this, this last election, that how many went in a booth somewhere or marked a piece of paper, I want to keep on sinning, and I want to yeah. vote for the one that said they'll be behind me. Yep. Oh, God, help me today. I vote for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Can you say amen? Amen. Yes, sir. amen. You know who the most important one in, in my life is? I know God can work through people, amen, to do good if they'll let Him amen. work through them. But my confidence is not in a man. That's right. My confidence is in the Lord this yes. morning. Amen. Whether I survive or whether I don't, Today, it's in His hands. Amen. Yes. It's in His hands. Yes. Praise the Lord. Whether I make it or I don't, He's given me a choice. Amen. Which road will I walk? Come on, Who will I follow today? On, Praise the Lord. Praise Amen. The Lord.
All right. God bless you this morning. We appreciate every one of you. We love you today. Amen. Let's pray. If we ever was in a time, we really need to get serious. It's right now. Amen. I'm, I, I'm telling you, this is about over. Amen. It's about done for. Yes. It's almost finished. Amen. We better make sure we're yes, ready. Amen. I was thinking about uh, uh, Terry. And it is a shock to me. Yes, sir. Amen. And uh, how it, you don't have to be old to die. No, that's right, Jimmy. You could just get up out of your uh, easy chair, uh -huh. just stand up and be gone. Yep. Or even sit in there and just be gone. Uh -huh. and the only thing that's going to matter is where we stand with God. That's right. That's the only thing yes, sir. that's going to matter. It ain't anything else of this world that we've accomplished. It's where our heart is with God. Yes, sir. Lord of God. Amen. All right, let's stand thank the Lord for this service. Amen. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, for this another opportunity that you blessed us today to be able to stand, stand to sit here today under the, the preaching and the teaching of your precious word. I pray, God, today for a solemnness and a and a sobriety in our heart, God, to seek your will, Lord, and to make sure we're walking, Lord, pleasing unto you, Lord. I want to be ready to meet you, dear Lord. If there's anything in my life today that be unpleasing to you, forgive me, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, we ask and pray, pleading your blood today, dear Lord. Amen.